Good Saturday morning, you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Today, we are going to be doing a little bit of everything. I have some new candles to show you guys, and I'm also gonna be doing like some refrigerator organization, and then just some like random odds and ends that I need to get done that I figured I would just kind of throw into like a get it all done type of video. So I hope you guys enjoy, but the first thing that I wanna start out with is the candles. So I was sent the Vela box which is a monthly candle subscription. So I think that's just such a good idea in general because we are burning through candles very quickly. And so just to know that you're gonna get new ones in a month is just, I think, really satisfying. And I think um, it's just a really good idea. And they're also like seasonal artisan candles. So they're really nice. The ones that I was sent in this box are hand poured soy candles. So they're not gonna have like a bunch of that like fake wax things that irritate your throat and like make you cough. So I'm excited to see how these burn. Um, I haven't burnt them yet I'm just kind of unboxing them right now with you guys so I will burn one today and let you know how it burns like if it's a really strong scent all that stuff so there are different levels and different tiers so the one that I was sent was called Vivier which comes with a four ounce candle an eight ounce candle and um, like a little special gift so I'm gonna just unbox these with you guys and see how these smell so they come in these like little nice bags too so the four ounce one in this box is Happy Camper, and the company is Beverly and Third Candle Co. So let's see how this one smells. Okay, so it's like a, definitely a woodsy scent. I feel like I smell a little bit of apple. It's very fresh. I love this one for like transitioning into like fall or from fall into winter. I feel like because of that tree smell, it really goes great it's like not overwhelmingly fall like you know the traditional like pumpkin and spice kind of scent so i really like this one i'm excited to burn that and the notes on it are apple caramel raspberry and cedar so it's just a very fresh kind of scent then this is the eight ounce one and this is toasted pumpkin by the same company very cute. I also love like the packaging on them, how they're just really simple and they'll like go with my decor. I know I'm going to love this one. Okay, yes, this is like my kind of fall scent. It has that like kind of smoky smell and then just like a light pumpkin. Like it's not like one of the pumpkin scents that like makes you like sick, like really creamy. Like I can't really do those. So this one's just, this is absolutely perfect fall candle. The notes on that one are pumpkin, nutmeg, cinnamon, and smoke. So I absolutely love it. I think this is the one that I'm going to burn today. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. But the special gift you also get with this box is called Tea with Tay. And it is chai tea, which I love chai tea. I don't really love um, really any other teas except for chai tea, actually. It's definitely my favorite. But uh, thank you again for Velabox for sending me this to share with you guys. And go ahead and check out their website because they do have two other tiers uh, besides the Vivier for options. I think the Vivier is $30 per month, but I do have a code that you guys can use for $5 off. It's Jordan5, and I'll put it on the screen here as well. So go ahead and use that and get yourself a candle subscription. I think that's a great idea, and I'm excited to see what they come out with in the future as well. I forgot they also sent me another candle just to kind of try out. So this one doesn't come in the subscription, but they do have candles that you can buy individually on their website too. And so this is oversized flannel. I feel like it's gonna smell amazing. It's mahogany, cedarwood, and amber. I literally love all of those scents. Oh my God, yes. That is so good and cozy. I love this one. Oh my God. So literally all of the scents I've gotten are freaking amazing. I 
I always hate disrupting my little cat, but I have to take the sheets off the bed because we are going to be washing them today. And I am gonna make the bed right after I strip the sheets off of it because I feel like it just helps the room stay like clean looking even though the sheets aren't on the bed, we're still gonna make it look like it's nice and presentable. Love you right back. in our actual sheets and we do use satin pillowcases so right here I'm um, in the next few clips I'm gonna show you guys how I actually wash those because they can't be washed in the machine so that's like it's not hard it's really easy to take care of them um, but it's just a little bit of a different process so the first thing I do is fill up the sink with really hot water and then I just pull the stopper up and I'll add in some powdered Tide and then a little splash of bleach and I feel like you really don't need a lot of either of these both of them I think work best like less is more so after I add that into the water and it's like nice and sudsy I will put on a pair of gloves here in a second to like protect my hands from not only like the hot water but also from the bleach so after I put those on I'm gonna put the pillowcases in there and just kind of swish them around around so that way they're kind of like agitated like they would be in a washing machine and just make sure they are getting like nice and clean and then you can just let them sit in there for about 30 minutes to an hour just to kind of soak and you know make sure we are killing all of those germs couldn't keep the door shut and now the after you're done soaking them, you can just wring them out and hang them up to dry. And I'll do this about midday and they'll be ready to go by bedtime so they don't take long at all. And I really recommend these pillowcases. They're so nice on your skin. If you're interested, I'll just link them in my description box from Amazon. I fell into a big black hole. It got this is the only room I vacuumed in this video, which seems totally random, but the reason I was doing it is because I was getting ready to like spread out on the floor and do a DIY project, but our power went out so I wasn't able to use my Cricut, so now this rug was just kind of vacuumed for really no good reason. So since we lost power, I did have to rewash our sheets. So I did that before I started the video again, and now I am throwing them in the dryer. Quick little update on the candle. It's burning really well. It's really strong, and it doesn't irritate my throat. So I would say this is definitely a win. I really 
love this candle and also this is the second um, day that I'm filming this because my power went out yesterday so I burned this for a few hours yesterday and today um, so as you can see like it's just burning really well it's not like wasting a lot of wax so I love that I feel like it's, it is gonna last a long time and have that 50 hour burn time but again Go ahead and check out Vellabox, uh, what candles they have individually, and then also the subscriptions. And you can use my code JORDAN5 for $5 off. So the next project we have today is the fridge. I really need to reorganize this because obviously, um, obviously it's just not functioning. There's just stuff everywhere. We just really need to reorganize and like regroup everything. And I do already have like several of these like acrylic kind of bins, but I did get two more that are like a different shape. So I'm gonna include those in here and see if we can make this just work better. The clear organizers like these I feel like make such a big difference in your fridge. They just instantly make everything look more organized and like more intentionally grouped together. So I would highly recommend these if you're not using them already. I'll link some from Amazon below in my description box, but they're really not too expensive. You can also find them places like TJ Maxx and Target, um, but of course Amazon is super easy. But again, they just make such a huge impact I feel like when you are organizing your like pantry, your fridge, all that stuff. It's all about us, it's all about us There's some magic in your eyes, can't get enough I was trying to get the stickers off of these new bins, but they were leaving that residue. So I left them on here for now until I could get my hands on some lemon oil or lemon essential oil. That is literally the best for taking off like stickers that don't come off easily. No need to fight it. I cannot hide it. We originally kept all of our drinks on the door here and I knew I wanted to switch those to the top shelf of our fridge and then move all of the condiments to the door. I feel like condiments are just like so busy looking so I would rather them be on the door than like the first thing you see when you look into the fridge. I feel like the drinks are just a little bit nicer looking. I've never felt like this before And I want you even more I 
to try out several different arrangements of things just to see what's gonna look the best and like what containers to put things in so it was kind of a lengthier process than I probably would have liked for it to be if I would have planned a little bit more it probably would have gone more smoothly um, but also we just don't have a whole lot in our fridge anyway like we just don't really keep a whole lot of food so I didn't really have tons to work with I think if it was more of a stocked fridge it might have been a little bit easier to figure out like the groupings and everything but you know we just gotta work with what we got and try out some different things. It can't hurt to try. box of ingredients for every plate and I usually am fine just leaving it in the cardboard box but I couldn't really find anything else to put in this deeper bin so I figured things could definitely look a little bit prettier than the cardboard box so this is where I'm just going to transfer all of our weekly ingredients into from now on.
lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on and We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed like some of these just random things that I was doing this weekend. And let me know if you like this type of video, just like these like little things, like not necessarily that can make one video, but I can kind of compile them all together. Let me know if you like that. And please subscribe if you are not already and give this video a like as well. And also turn on your notification bell so you know every time I post. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.